Hey everyone, a couple weeks ago I installed a manual well pump. Today we're going to be installing another one. This one's a bit different. This one we're going to be building a small platform out of wood for it since it has a different type of cover. Over here is the well that we installed a couple weeks back. It has a trail camera aimed at it to see what comes to get a drink from this bowl I put. This little bit of fencing's in there in case a mouse falls in the bowl, it doesn't drown. So this well is right here. Doesn't take long to get it primed. Doesn't need a check valve or anything. I actually want it to go back down there so it doesn't freeze. So this one, we drill the hole right through the cap and screwed it right to the cover. Here's the situation with the other one. So this other one is in a very marshy area of the property. This time of year, it's still a little squishy, but not enough to get your shoes wet. I'm gonna cut this dead tree out of the way. This, I'm gonna leave for now, but maybe I should cut that down so it doesn't break into the well at some point. If I come over to this well in the springtime, this will be full of water. The water table is not far down underneath that. I could probably dig a foot and it would fill with water. Very high water table in this spot. So, first thing is, See how the cover, the cap, is a little bit off? We got to get this thing pushed back centered and hope it balances nicely. See on the other side, there's a lot of moss growing there. This thing hasn't been properly seeded in many years. And this one doesn't have big handles, so it's not going to be as easy to move around. This one has a cap on the top of it, similar to what you would find on a septic tank. See, I just got up and it's wobbling a little bit. That's why I don't want to drill this cover. I think it's more likely to crack because there's not much space. So we're going to be removing the plug in the center here, putting that off to the side. I'm going to build a wooden platform that takes up almost the entire thing just so that it doesn't tip over. And if necessary, I will drill a couple small holes in this cover so that the wooden platform isn't wobbly. So you see the water is only about three feet down from the cover, or maybe two and a half. Where I show it on the side that I said sometimes fills up with water in the spring, that's only maybe eight inches below that part. This well is not as deep as the other one that we put the pump on. I just use a cheap um, measuring tape. doesn't matter if I get it all gunked up and rusted up. Um, this well... From the top here, it's 9 feet deep, so I'm going to have to give the 10-foot piece of pipe I just bought a trim. So, first off, let me get rid of this cover, and then we're going to see if we can get this seated properly. I'm actually going to use this as a stepping stone to be able to approach the well. Because I feel really bad about killing all this moss just walking around here. This whole thing's gonna have to be wiped off. All right, so that cover, I don't think actually goes to those culverts because Look, it's all even all the way around the back, but yet it's still overhanging there about an inch. It's definitely going to have to be shimmed. It's not seating properly. There's no dirt or debris in the way. That tree was on its way out anyways. If the stump still has enough energy, it can grow back.
Nice. All right, we got the platform now completely made. We got this thing threaded into the pipe. I had to cut the end of the pipe off because this well isn't deep enough and use some plumber's tape. These wells are pretty clean. I don't see a need for a filter at the end. Right now I have to tighten the faucet. I just hand tightened that because it shipped in the box with that detached. This thing made an awful mess when I opened it in the house. This thing was packed in loose styrofoam and packing peanuts. It made a mess to clean up. Looking good. All right, it's time to do some shimming of this. Too loose. There's one that basically solves it, but I got to put a couple more because I know it'll still move if I stand on it. All right, we got that thing nice and seated now. Not moving. It fits so tightly and snugly between the two little handles. It's so tight, that wasn't on purpose, that's completely by accident. All right, now that I know where the hole's going, I'm gonna do this so it doesn't get down inside the well, all this unnecessary debris. Nice and sturdy, the whole thing. I gotta do a little bit of trimming here. There's a lot of overhead trees, so this might be a pain in the butt to get in. That was heavy to get in there, and it's 97 degrees out. At least I'm in the shade. This wasn't a pleasant job when I was working on the platform in the sun. Now, this thing, you see? Obviously, you cannot fit a five gallon bucket under this. Smaller pails will work fine. You see this weird area with the tree and stuff? Not the best place to be pumping, is it? Now, this pump I got, these two bolts can be loosened. The handle can swing around to the side here or swing around to the side here to make it easier to pump in that sense. That is something I do like about this pump. So, I got a couple little washers and screws. Let's screw it down to the platform and give it a prime.
And I'm putting the back screws in crooked to make sure I get into the wood because I see I'm along that crack. All right, that went really nice. Let's give this thing its first pump. Let's see how this thing does. Get everything out of the way. I like this platform because it's easy to step up onto. Looks like it's gonna work good. Let me get my tools out of the way because they're actually getting wet from this. All right, let's pump it like crazy now. Oh, the top's actually loose. The factory did a horrible job screwing this in. See what I mean? Like I talked about before. Pump to the side. That's actually nice that it was loose because now I'm able to move it around and now I can figure out exactly where I want to keep it. This is actually cool too, having it forward like this at a 45 degree angle. Wow, this pipe is so cold. That feels so good. Feels really nice. This nice cold pipe. Yeah, I think this is probably the most practical having it out at this 45. Because I don't want to cut this tree down, so I think I'm going to go get a wrench and keep it right here forward. It kind of looks awkward, but I think this is the most practical. This is not practical. I could pump the most right here. Beautiful. That works nice. Now the bucket can sit back here as just a decoration. I think I'm going to put a little tiny bowl right here with some hand soap. It'll be nice. I'm going to make sure it's some kind of eco-friendly stuff. I gotta. I don't even know if this information is available, but I don't want it to kill the moss around it. All right, everyone, you know what? I am actually gonna make this thing higher right now. I put a five gallon bucket up against it. It's barely not able to fit under there. So if I put two pieces of wood here, this will give it enough height to slide a bucket underneath there and fill it. So we're gonna take this back off, pull it up, screw both of these down on top of here and drill a new hole through here, put the whole well on top of it, or the whole pump on top of it. I bet this is gonna be hard to get up because this thing has a much better seal than that red pitcher pump we did last week. Cause this thing, it's still primed. It's literally still primed. So I have to probably have to lift up a couple gallons of water with the pipe until the end of it comes out of the water and it breaks. So, let's unscrew it. Oh, yeah, it's a lot heavier. Uh, This thing's very heavy, especially with the water in it. Alrighty, so here we are. Put this wood over the hole. Screw it in.
Yeah, I actually want it back a little bit like that. All right, that was a deep hole. Looks good. Let's get the pump back on top of this. All right, perfect. Now we can fill a bucket up with this thing. Time to screw it back down. Wrong drill. Is that perfectly straight? That looks good. All right, everyone, let's get this thing primed back up and let's see how long it takes to fill a five gallon bucket with it. And then I gotta get my wrench out here to tighten the handle to keep it steady in the spot. All right, I counted in my head. I'm not sure what you guys got, but somewhere between 25 and 30 seconds. So this thing is pretty fast. Yep, works good. Only thing is, unlike the red well pump, this one, if you're not careful, depending on where you're holding it, you can't actually slam your hand against the unit. But that's not that big of a deal. Let me go get a wrench so we can tighten this up. And this thing's nice. That's not going anywhere. It's not like we're going to be using this to tie off a come along or something. It feels so good and cold. It's perfect. Perfect. Now let's use this bucket of water to clean all the mud from my shoes and sawdust off of this. So today, when I was at the store, I realized lumber prices are actually going down. These large two by eights that you're seeing right there, the eight foot long pieces were 12 bucks. That's down from what they were last year. Wow, walking back out here, this pump kind of blends in perfectly. It'll be almost invisible once the pressure-treated wood starts to blend in after a year or two.
All right, we're all set. It's looking good. All right. So if anyone's wondering why there's all these abandoned wells out here, I'm not exactly sure why. All I know is up until the 1970s, this was a logging forest. So it's unlikely you'll find a tree out here that's older than 50 something years. It's just unlikely. Because this entire area here was cleared in the 70s, so I'm assuming this had something to do with a logging camp. Maybe water to cool some kind of machinery. It wasn't put out here for forest fires like some commenter said last week. No, if you threw a fire hose down here, even the smaller two-inch hose, you'd pump this thing dry in just a couple minutes. Because once it empties out what's down inside these concrete structure it has to seep back in very slowly so if i came out here with a five gallon bucket filled it up walked away used it come back five ten minutes later filled up another it gives it time to seep back into it so it wouldn't run out in that situation but if i had an electric pump here with a large hose two or four inches like a fire hose this thing would run dry extremely fast i might be able to get away with a small three-quarter inch garden hose that is a possibility now when I was looking down inside this in particular well the one from a few weeks ago was in perfect condition this well the top structure here the top piece of culvert pipe slid like three inches to the side so you have a lip on that side and this I'm imagining is overhanging a little bit it makes sense this is a very swampy area along a hill so I'm sure over the years it's slowly sliding. I'm not going to worry about it. It'll probably take decades before that ever becomes a problem. Or maybe I just accelerated the process if the ground here keeps getting wet from spillage. I don't think so though, because like I pointed out before, you'll literally have pooling water around this. The water table is so high throughout most of the year. I'd say there's only four months out of the year, meaning the hottest summer months where there's not sitting water here. That's a good thing, because there's literally a mosquito bothering me right now. Today's a very hot day. It's very rare when it gets this hot. Well, for this area anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Here's a watermelon I bought, and... It was already discounted down to a dollar when I got it, and I forgot to eat it for two weeks. So, look what happened to it. Oh, it's just full of water. It's just so rotten. That was actually really satisfying to crush.